the first fruits of those who sleep. For as thy man faith death, thy man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us, Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the of God, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Savior, in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The song appointed for this morning is Psalm 72 and page 558. We will read alternate verses, pausing at each as the read. Give the King your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son. That he may rule your people righteously and, and the poor with justice. That the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend me among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the roof king, like showers that grow in the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of the and of the Arabs shall be tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Sahara of the East. All kings shall bow down before me, and all the nations do him service, for he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no help. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence. And the earth shall be their thought in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grace on the earth, 
Lord, speak even on the details. May his food flourish like Lebanon and his grain like grass on the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the Lord of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. And, and blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, reading from verse 1 through to 18. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall each revere your mother and father, and you shall keep my Sabbath. I am the Lord your God. Do not turn to idols, or make cast images for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. When you offer a sacrifice of well-being to the Lord, offer it in such a way that it is acceptable in your behalf. It shall be eaten on the same day you offer it, or on the next day, and anything left over until the third day shall be consumed in fire. If it is eaten at all on the third day, it is an abomination, it will not be accepted. All who eat it shall be subject to punishment, because they have profaned what is holy to the Lord, and any such person shall be cut off from the people. When you read the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field, or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall not strip your vineyard bare, or gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and the alien. I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely and you shall not lie to one another. And you shall not swear falsely by my name, profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud your neighbor. You shall not steal, and you shall not keep for yourself the wages of a laborer until morning. You shall not revile the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor or defend or defer to the great. With justice, you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Please stand as we say the benedict us together on page 40. Blessed are you, the Lord God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our forbearance, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you shall, shall be called the prophet of the most high, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from an high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 16, at verse 19. Do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where the thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your body, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand as we say together the song of Moses on page 49. I will sing to the Lord for his glorious triumph. The horse of the rider he has turned into the sea. The Lord has become my strength and refuge. The Lord himself has become my Savior. He is my God, and I will praise him. My, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord himself is a mighty warrior. The Lord, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. Who is like you, O Lord, among gods? Holy, awesome, Lord, and commanded. In steadfast love, you made your people. You guided your redeemed with your great 
for the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Please be seated. For reflection this morning, we are divided by the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, 19 to 24. Do not let, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Jesus had something to say about this. Speaking to his disciples, he, he said, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust be destroyed, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Eternal treasures never lose their worth. They can never be spoiled or stolen. Let us therefore stop and them. How? By giving our time and resources to spread the good news of Jesus, visiting those who are lonely through the acts of service, by being compassionate to those who are less fortunate, by living according to the will and ways of Jesus, and helping those in need are just some of the many ways to store up treasure in heaven. Jesus told a story of a man who acclaimed abundant treasures and decided to store everything for himself. Luke 12, verse 16 to 21. The man thought to himself, I have ample goods laid up for many years. He said to himself, Let me take it easy. Relax. Eat, drink, and be merry. Verse 19. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. In this time of COVID 19 pandemic, let us not be like this man who keep by as a plan for himself and forget about the less fortunate. Because the Lord gave us a command in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 9 to 10, that was read earlier on, that when we reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field. Or gather beans of your harvest. You shall not strip your vineyard here, or gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall not strip your vineyard there, or gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall not leave them, you shall leave them for the poor and needy. I am the Lord your God. So my brothers and sisters, remember, it's our Christian duty to take care and provide for them, even more at this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, let us remember Material wealth is temporary. Nothing lasts forever except what our God enables us to do for others. In the Gospel of Mark, the rich man, young man, came to Jesus to find out what he must do to inherit the kingdom of heaven. 
and Jesus is all he had to do. His response was not pleasing to Jesus. So Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, you lack one thing. Go, sell all what you own and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. You see, my brothers and sisters, the Lord was testing the rich young ruler heart when he asked him to sell all that he had and give it to the poor. Then come and follow me. But instead of doing so, he went away shocked and grieving, for he had many possessions. Mark 10, 20 to 22. You see, my friends, let us not get caught up down like this young ruler by storing up everything for ourselves while people around us are in need. Brother and sisters, let us remind ourselves how important it is that we obey and treat others the way we wanted to be treated if we were in wants and needs. For our Christian lives are like a window through which others can see Jesus. When we take care of those who are in need, as we continue to go through this pandemic, let us support our Mother's Union member, Mother's Union in all our churches as they continue to find ways and means to reach out to the less fortunate at this blessed moment. In conclusion, Jesus said, this is how it will be with whoever stores up thieves of themselves, but not rich toward God. So Lord, help us to appreciate the good work that others do and the service given from them, their hearts, in whatever way. This world is full of much good that brings us joy and pleasure, but true love and fulfillment all comes when Christ be the love and treasure. Therefore, let us ask ourselves, in what way are we storing up treasures in heaven? And how might we change and grow in this area of our lives? What value would it be to have collected much on earth, but little or nothing for eternity. For God gave us a command to remember the poor and care for them. Amen. Let us thank, as we say, the prayer of dedication and page 47. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May you be a light to our feet, and a light to our hearts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons, 
Thank you. 